I know a lot of you probably struggle enough with parallel parking your own car, let alone parking the largest cruise ship on the planet. Well, Wall Street Journal just went behind the scenes on board that largest cruise ship, and they explain exactly how the captain operates and pulls this vessel into port over here in Port Canaveral. Welcome to the Midships Minutes. I'm your Captain Corey. Let's get into this video article coming out from Wall Street Journal. And it should be noted, I don't often do these video articles, so bear with me if we have some technical difficulties. How the world's biggest cruise ship is docked explains, explained by the vessel's captain. Weather conditions, vessel traffic, and water depth can all affect the docking maneuver. A Royal Caribbean captain explains how he docks an 1,188-foot cruise ship at Port Canaveral, Florida, and how environmental conditions pose the biggest challenge. And as we're getting started in this episode, remember, if you've got a cruise coming up and you want to have the perfect cruise, the best cruise, well, check out everything for sale here in the Midships Amazon store. In there, you can find everything I take with me every single time I cruise. It's an amazing way to support this channel while getting something for yourself that I think you're going to love. Let's watch the video. So here you can see they're just going to give some facts and figures about the wonder of the seas, the current largest ship on the planet. And take a look at this awesome, I think this is a really awesome visual image of exactly how the captain and the harbor pilot and everybody have to bring this massive ship into port. Be in anticipation. So we asked Captain Rob Hempstead to show us how he docks cruise ships and what factors come into play. And keep in mind, this is most commonly done under the cover of darkness. The whole maneuver begins five miles out at four in the morning when the captain starts to reduce speed on their way into port. For 11 knots at buoy 11. And you can see here they have the pilot boat arriving on scene. The pilot will come on board. This is a local individual who is an expert in the waterways and navigating them for these cruise ships. And they'll come over to the bridge and they will basically take control of the ship and assume responsibility, though ultimately the captain is still responsible. The harbor pilot will dictate the navigational direction, the heading of the ship. You can see starboard 15 was just up on the screen. Although the captain will still recommend the speed for the cruise ship to travel. The ship travels at about 13 knots down the channel. And you can see as Wonder of the Seas pulls into the mouth of the harbor, she will slow down considerably from 11 knots down to five or six knots, making her way towards the turning basin, which is here towards the middle aft of towards the middle back of the port where she'll spin around and the captain will use her azzy pods which are controlled by those three balls it's a rotating a fully rotating basically control surface and if you can see here i'm actually going to pause this of course these are the azzy pods and you would think that well this looks like the way that they should be pointing when they're driving the ship but actually they use the azipods to pull. So that means the azipods are actually pointing this direction. So it doesn't seem logical, but this is the way it's done. And this is what they're doing with the azipods here. Now these rotate a full 360 degrees, giving great precision control. And just some fascinating video coming in here of the actual control screens on these massive vessels. I think this is absolutely amazing. I totally geeked out on this video, watched it several times through this morning. This is, I mean, my cruise ship simulator game that I love to play. Oh, I've not played cruise ship simulator for y'all yet, but I'm looking forward to showing you how, just how wonderful I am. And you can see here a couple hours later, the mooring lines are getting tossed out. The wonder of the seas is coming in close. Her speed is fully reduced and her bow and stern thrusters will kick in and they'll slowly, slowly push the ship in against the dock. Now, here we go on talking about how weather is gonna be a huge factor with wind and waves and storms. This is a really cool video. We are going to switch back to main camera because I think Wall Street Journal deserves some of your attention for their attention to detail on this. The video goes on to show some cool maritime stuff. So if you're a cruiser, I think it's worth watching even so much as how to identify wind speed based on what the waves look like. It's a really interesting video. Check it out. I'll link it in the description down below this video. Like I link every article that we cover here on the Midships Minutes. Hey, make sure you get subscribed. The next Midships Minutes, it's coming up in two hours time. La, 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 la,
la 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 la